In this video, we will demonstrate the different search and view options when using the Responsive Events module from a desktop computer. In this calendar, you can find events to inform you of upcoming activities or events where you can register on your own without having to contact the club. The Event Calendar tab will display the current month with search and filter options. Click in the Search Event name box and type words to search for. Only events with the word will appear. Click X to clear the search. Click Filter to show additional filter options. To better demonstrate this section, we're going to zoom out so that we can see the filters and the calendar at the same time. As you change the filters, the events will appear accordingly. Registration status by default will show all events. If you're only interested in events that allowed registration, click Registrable. Show event time is only available provided your club has enabled this feature, and it will only be used in the month view. If you're in the week or list view, the start and end times will always display. Booking types filter will only be available if your club has enabled this feature. It will display other modules such as tea times, courts, dining, lessons, and tournaments within your calendar provided you are registered for an event from these modules. Locations will list locations where events can take place at the club. By default, all locations will be selected. Click All Locations to deselect and select only locations that you are interested in. Categories will list the different categories of events that the club has to offer. By default, all categories will be selected. Click All Categories to deselect and select categories that you are interested in. The difference between locations and categories is that the categories can be color-coded. Guests, by default, will be set to no preference. You could select events that allow or disallow guests. Birthdays filter will only be available provided your club has enabled this feature to show birthdays on the event calendar. Gender, by default, will be set to no preference. You could select gender-specific events that your club has created. Click Reset to clear the filters. Click Filter at the top to hide the filter options. Let's zoom back to 100%. The arrows going in a circle is the Sync option. It allows you to download an ICS file to synchronize the event calendar to your personal calendar. The legend represents additional icons that can be found beside an event name. Green check mark indicates that you've already registered for an event. Clock icon is for popular events that have filled up, but you can add yourself to a waitlist. Red circle with the strike through indicates a popular event. The event is full and you cannot register. The current month and year will be shown with today's date highlighted in gray. Click select month or year to display a drop down to select a specific month and year to view events. The desktop version of the responsive events has three views, month, week, and list. The amount of information presented in each view will be a little different. By default, the month view will be shown. Use the left and right arrows to see past and future months. If you navigated to a different month, click current month to bring you back. All views will display a circle with a color provided the club has identified a color for a category. In month view, the time will display provided the club has enabled the time feature and the show time filter is set to yes. Sometimes, instead of the time being displayed, you may see multi, all day, or no time at all, depending on how the event was set up. The event name may be displayed partially or in full while in month view. On busy days, click on the plus sign with the word more to see additional events happening on that date. Let's go to the week view. The week view will show all the events that are taking place in the current week. Use the left and right arrows to see past or future weeks. If you navigated to a different week, click current week to bring you back. In week view, it will always display the start and end time along with the full name of the event. Let's click on the list view. The list view will display all the events for the current month chronologically, with the beginning of the month at the top. Use the left and right arrows to see past and future months. Click today to bring you back to the current month to display events that are occurring today. In addition to the circle with color code, 
start and end time, and full event name, the list view will also display the location where the event is going to take place. Events can be set up with more than one location. An added feature in the list view is the option to quickly register for an event without having to view the event details. A register button will be found to the right of the event name. To view the event details, click on the event name from any of the three views, month, week, or list. To learn more about making a registration, please watch the Responsive Events Making a Registration video.